Hey, I'm Miss Phelps, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the three undefined terms in geometry. Um, we talked about those a little bit today in class when we were using the Play-Doh, um, and the first one I want to start with is a point. Now, you should have your paper that we made this morning or today that has the flaps on it, so I would like you to get that out and look at it and it needs to have that very first flap at the top and it's going to be uh, points so on the very first flap you're going to put points right here then you're going to open up your flap and then on the next section we're going to have our definition so the definition of a point is that it has no actual size it's used to represent an object or location in space okay Remember today in class we talked about uh, the fact that some people had little bitty tiny points and then other people had great big huge balls. But it was still technically a point, which is a location in space. Um, okay, now if you flip over to your last flap, which puts you on your paper, the lined paper, that's where we're going to have the part that says um, an example of it. So I have point Q. And it is a point that's named by a capital letter. Okay, that's important to have to be considered a point. It needs a capital letter with it. Okay, on your next flap, I want you to go down and it's going to be lines. Now, remember to make a line, we actually just put a whole bunch of little points together in, in a straight line. And that's what made a line. And they were collinear. Remember, that's what that means. They're uh, points in a straight line which makes them collinear. Um, a line has no thickness or width. It's used to represent a continuous set of points that extend indefinitely. Now lines are actually one-dimensional. They only have length so um, they can have so much distance but remember a true line goes on forever. Okay, now on your last um, flap where your line paper is again is our example and it's going to give point or I'm sorry line AH or line J and line AH is actually named by two uppercase letters just like it's supposed to be and um, line J doesn't have a point on it but it's supposed to be a lowercase cursive letter. So make sure whenever you're doing yours, you make it a cursive letter. All right, the last one is, is planes, or yeah, is planes. Now, a plane has no thickness, width, or depth. It's used to represent a flat surface that extends indefinitely in all directions. So if you think about a flat surface, like maybe a piece of paper or something, it goes, it has length, but it also has width. So it's actually two-dimensional. So um, over here where I have my example, I have uh, three points in the plane. I have Z, Y, and R. And remember, those are labeled by capital letters. And over here, I have one cursive letter, capital. And okay, so a plane can be named by either a cursive capital letter or three non-collinear points. Now, I actually have a mistake in my example, and I'm going to be asking you what that mistake is tomorrow whenever you come to class. So make sure you can tell me that mistake. And also, our word for the night is non-collinear. So I want you to see if you can figure out what non-collinear is and have an idea of what an example of that looks like for me tomorrow. Hope you have a great day and make good choices.